here in Arendelle. I thought it would be amazing if we could do something super fun together. Are you ready? Would you like to read a story with me? You would? Oh, yay, stories are so fun. This one is about my sister and I. <laughs> yay! Did you know that every princess story starts with the same four words? The first word is once. Can you think of the other words? Once upon a time. That's right. Good job. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom called... Where do we live? Arendelle. Good job. And there were two little sisters. And their names were... Elsa and Anna. You are so smart. That's right. Our mom used to sing us a lovely song. Do you remember how it goes? Where the north wind meets the sea. That one, that's right. <laughs> and it helps a secret about a river. And the river held answers about the past. Many, many years later, Elsa and I were all grown up. <laughs> Our parents are gone, but we still had each other. Elsa, my sister, she had lots of questions. She wanted to know why she had magic power, and she kept hearing a voice. What did that voice sound like? Ah! That's right! <laughs> she kept hearing that voice, and it was calling to her. And she thinks that it knows some of the answers about her magic. So, in the middle of the night one night, she goes out after hearing the voice and sings a song. Do you remember how that one goes? into the unknown. That's right. And all these diamonds popped up and they had different symbols for all the different elements. Earth, fire, water, wind. She touches one and then our town starts going crazy. All the lights go off, the wind started blowing and the earth started shaking. It was time for us all to evacuate. Grandpappy, that's this guy. He's a rock troll. He told us that Elsa had awoken the spirits of the Enchanted Forest. <gasps> Whoa! And we had to go travel to the Enchanted Forest. Adventure time! <laughs> That's right. It was Kristoff and who's that right there? Sven! That's right. And who's that? <gasps> Olaf! Oh, he gives the best warm hugs. <laughs> we go on a big adventure. Only Elsa could get into the Enchanted Forest. The first spirit we meet is the Wind Spirit, Gail. She is so fun. She makes your hair go crazy and she blows your, your clothes around. She's so fun. Now she gives us all of our letters back and forth. Well, she helped Elsa learn about her powers and make her use them in a new way. And then we find out that the North Aldra people and Arendellian soldiers lived in the Enchanted Forest and they had been trapped there for so many years, like 30 years. They saw that our mother's scarf was North Aldra, which means that Elsa and I are part North Aldrin. <gasps> wow! And then we see our father's guard Mateus, and then we meet the next spirit. Do you know what that is? The fire spirit, who turns out to be <gasps> Mr. Bruni, who is so sweet. He likes to get his own little snow flurry and catch snowflakes. He goes, bump, 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 bump. <laughs> that's right. We love Bruni. Uh huh. And then we share stories about our past and the North Ultra people tell us some things and talk about the spirits. So we continue on our journey and we find a ship, a ship that had wrecked. Kristoff and Sven stay behind. They go off with one of the other, with Ryder, the other one that likes all the reindeers. And Ryder shows Kristoff some fun ways that maybe he could propose. <laughs> That's right. Well, in the in the ship, well, in the ship, we saw that this was our parents' ship, and they had been searching for the secret river too, because they wanted to know why Elsa had magic as well. 
Elsa wanted to find this special river too, but she knew the way there might be dangerous. So to protect us, she thought it would be a good idea to send us off in an ice boat, ice boat trailing down the enchanted forest. We ended up taking a wrong turn and we end up next to the third spirits, the earth giants. Do you think they're really quiet or do you think they're really loud? That's right, they're really loud. You can hear them stomping and they shake the ground. They're huge. We had to be very quiet, Olaf and I, so they didn't wake up. That's right. <laughs> well, Elsa keeps going north and she reaches the dark sea and finds the fourth spirit, the water horse knock. That's right. They couldn't beat each other, so they realized they were equals, and their horsey took her all the way to off to Holland. And in the meantime, Olaf and I find ourselves in a cage, and a little flurry of snowflakes appear. It was a message from Elsa telling me that I needed to save the kingdom. I was so excited, but also scared and also very sad. Elsa reaches the voice and she, that she had been following and learns why she has the power. She finds her purpose and realizes that she is the fifth spirit. Yay! I save Arendelle and so does Elsa. We had to break the dam and right the wrong that our grandfather did. And well, even though we followed different paths, we came out together with a bond stronger than ever and our love and our hearts hold us together. That's right. <laughs> and do you know what every princess story ends with? It's three words and they lived happily ever after. Oh, good job. Yay. Thank you so much for reading that with me. Would you like to sing a little bit of a song too? Oh, good. <gasps> yes, the wind blows a little bit colder. And we're all getting older, and the clouds are moving on with every autumn breeze. Peter Pumpkin just became fertilizer, and my leaves a little sadder and wiser. That's why I rely on certain certainties. Yes, some things never change, like the feel of your hand in mine. Some things stay the same. Like how we get along just fine Like an old stone wall that'll never fall Some things are always true Some things never change Like how I'm holding on tight to you Yay! Oh friends, thank you so much for doing that with me. I had the best time. I hope that you can always try to remember to do the next right thing. Yes. <laughs> and. Remember to keep your head up. There's always something to smile about every single day. Whether it's a funny joke someone told, or a fun game you're playing, or even just looking outside, seeing the wonderful things that are out there. Like all the nature, or maybe it's a hug from mom and dad, or brother or sister. That's right. <laughs> we can all have the best time together. I'm sure you can have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.